okay so find uh, slope at support and uh, maximum deflection for a beam loaded as shown in the figure uh, also find the slope and deflection under the point load now this is a different problem uh, it's different because now it is not a symmetrical one so uh, that means uh, you cannot say that the maximum deflection will occur at the center of the span so that will be wrong now so that is the reason it's a very important problem because you have to find out the maximum deflection so before finding the maximum deflection first you have to find where it will occur then you can find the deflection so we'll be using the slightly different procedure or the method here even to find the slope also so as I'm suggesting so first draw the uh, elastic curve so let's draw first elastic curve so elastic curve it will be look something like this now uh, what you think where you will get the maximum bending moment sorry uh, I'll say deflection uh, what do you think where you will get the maximum deflection not the bending moment I'm saying about deflection so in the region AC or in the region CB so you will get the maximum deflection in the region CB not in the region AB so you need to look for the largest span here this is the shortest span so after C immediately after C you will get the maximum deflection so what I'll do is I will draw the elastic curve so this is the elastic curve this is the under the point load so I'll draw a little beyond that then it reaches zero so it is not under C it is beyond that okay so the first your aim is to find out where it will occur so in the region CB it will occur that you have to mind uh, if it is a been reverse problem if it is four here two years here so what will occur the maximum deflection will occur in the region AC so that you have to keep it in your mind okay let's draw the elastic tangent let's draw the tangent so this is what is theta a and you can draw the tangent from B so this is what is theta B okay. uh, then after that you know you have to draw the bending moment diagram so let's draw the bending moment diagram so how is the bending moment diagram so what is the reaction now the reaction you calculate the reactions so 16 to 2 whole divided by 6 so 20 uh, B is 20 kilonewton and uh, at A is uh, 40 kilonewton so reaction at A so what is the bending moment at C 14 to 2 80 it's linearly increases okay so it is 14 to 2 80 kilonewton meter so this is what is the bending moment diagram next draw a more EA diagram since EA is same no changes in the bending moment diagram or a more EA diagram so but as I told you better to practice it separately so this is 80 by EI 80 by EI okay so this is 2 meter and 4 meter so this is M by EI diagram and uh, give the naming here elastic curve curve okay so you have done this now uh, as we've seen in the previous method we need to take the two referential point uh, a and uh, c we used to take as a referential point uh, in the previous problem we used to take uh, center point as my uh, reference point because if I draw the tangent uh, it will be horizontal that is a point of maximum deflection so here the point of maximum deflection is here so I call this point as a E A B C okay I call it as a point D so D is the point where I'll get the maximum deflection so that means I can draw the tangent from here I can draw the tangent from D to get the thing but the problem here what is the location of the point D this we don't know so what I call this point as a X let me call it as a X 
so that means I cannot use this I cannot use the concept of uh, reference taking a reference point as a t now I'll be calculating the present I will calculate theta b because theta b is very important for me uh, from the, uh, this is the reference point me and uh, I'm saying uh, distance axis from the B so I would like to calculate the theta B first now okay so um, I cannot take B and D directly because I don't know the location of a uh, D I'm treat I'm treating as an X here so what I will do is I'll go with the another approach here another method here so I'll draw the tangent from B and uh, let me uh, uh, extend it to till A so I'll draw the tangent and let me extend it till A so draw the tangent from B and extend till A I'm just recorrecting the drawing okay draw the tangent from B and extend it till D okay uh, now what you can do is you can able to calculate this distance so if I call a a dash you can calculate this distance so if I'm call, I can call delta a you can calculate it how you can calculate it uh, use a concept momentary method what is the concept second theorem moment of a more diagram between a and b about b because tangent drawn from b measured at a so that is about a now if you do that you can able to calculate delta a then how it will help me to calculate theta so we have small equations here the slopes uh, this is the equation if you remember if you have gone through the theorem uh, while deriving the momentary theorem you might have you we have used it so we'll be using the same concept here so in that case theta so theta b is equal to uh, delta a divided by L so you this is the deflection divided by span you do it you will get theta b so we'll use this indirect method to calculate the theta now let's do it uh, we know or we have you write down here we have or we know theta b is equal to delta a by L now what is delta a so let's calculate delta a delta a is equal to moment of m by e a diagram between a and b about a so what is the answer about a which is equal to uh, what is the answer it comes moment of m over a diagram about a so what is the region you will be considering region 1 uh, region 2 so take it off into base into height by EI into moment I need to take about A so what you need to do you need to multiply by 2 third so from the apex it is 2 third of 2 so plus second region let's go with the second region so what is the answer off into base is 4 into height is 80 by EI into what is the distance it is from the base it is 1 third of 4 plus you need to take it at a you need to multiply by distance 2 so what you'll get you sum everything so when you add everything uh, I think so to, to get cancels uh, here 80 into 4 by 3 plus uh, 80 into 18 to 2 into 4 by 3 plus 2 answer is 640 so it is 640 by EI therefore theta B is equal to therefore theta B is equal to divided by the span you do it so 640 by total span of 6 EI so divided by 6 so you'll get 106 point uh, 667 by EI now if you want you can calculate theta a also how to calculate theta a so let's you know so we can calculate the theta a how to find the theta a we can use the same concept here so you can get it the value of uh, theta a so how we'll do it take a uh, uh, in this diagram draw the tangent from a so till 
B. So you draw the tangent till B. So this is what is B dash. This is what is B. Measure this. So get this. This is what I call it as a delta B and divide by sine. You do it. So what will happen? So accordingly, theta we know you can write. We have theta A is equal to delta B divided by L. What is delta B? Delta B is equal to moment of m by e a diagram between a and b about b now. Okay, so what is the answer? You solve for this. Just uh, solve for this. Uh, what you'll get? Uh, let's uh, do it. So region uh, first half into base into height into uh, distance you need to take the distance from the base one third of two plus four plus next region half into base into height into uh, distance you need to take now two third of four so add everything so how much you will get is 80 into 2 by 3 plus 4 plus so to 2 cancels 80 into 18 into 4 by 3 into 4 so total is 800 by EI you will get it 800 by EI so therefore theta A is equal to uh, 800 divided by 6 EI so divided by 6 you will get 133.33 by EI you can see here theta A and theta B are not same because it is not a symmetrical structure okay now find the maximum deflection now we'll use the previous one method let's use the previous method to find the maximum deflection one thing is clear first where will occur maximum deflection we said it is at it is occurs at a distance x from b okay so you take that point in the moe ea diagram also take that point in the moe ea diagram also this is what is the distance x where you will get maximum bending moment oh, sorry maximum deflection and uh, this ordinate you calculate this ordinate so what is this ordinate this ordinate is 80 by 4 that is 20 into x that 20x this is what is a 20x though it is how it is varying this ordinate is 20 you can use the similar triangle properties now uh, let's take the d as my reference point this d as my reference point and uh, draw the tangent from d then I'll draw the tangent from A. So then uh, what is that one? So if you draw the tangent from A and tangent from B. So uh, you are taking head here. So this is what is same here. Drawn here. Drawn here. So either I can take it on this one. Or I can take it on here. This is what is theta uh, B D. So this is what is theta B D tangent drawn from B and the tangent drawn from here this is what is theta BD now what is theta BD you know what is theta BD now let's find the concept of maximum deflection 